everybody and welcome to uh, Autofocus. Uh, today I'm gonna do a range test of my Mustang mach -E standard range um, rear-wheel drive. It's uh, winter here in Denmark, but actually it's not that uh, cold. It's about 5 degrees today. So uh, I'm pretty excited to see how far we'll actually get. I only had the car since September and I have not really had an opportunity to do a, a longer drive in it. Anyway, the conditions for the test is, um, actually according to Ford, for most efficiency, the temperature in the car should be put to 90 de 19 degrees uh, and it should be adjusted to recirculation. You should drive in whisper mode and the heated seat and steering wheel should be off. But the thing about this test is I'm actually going on a trip with my girlfriend and she definitely does not want to sit in a car for one and a half hour in 19 degrees and I bet she wants her little ass to be heated a little bit as well. So I think that uh, I'm gonna adjust the temperature to 20 and a half degree and I will not have seated a uh, heated seat or steering wheel in my side, my girlfriend will. Uh, the majority of the trip will be on a freeway and uh, I'll be doing 110 kilometers an hour and uh, on the rest of the roads it's 80 uh, kilometers an hour. And you can see the car has now been fully charged and it says the range, I don't know if you can see it, is 382 kilometers and it's on 100%. Uh, according to the WLPT standard, it's uh, 440. So with this uh, 380, uh, it's I think it's a little bit more realistic with the temperature. And if I can get that far, I'll actually be quite surprised. Uh, most of it will be freeway, as I said. Uh, I'm going to preheat or precondition the battery, of course, to give the car the best circumstances. So, and uh, yeah, then I'm going to drive as far as I can without charging to make the result even more realistic. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to take the ride. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so uh, now we're down the road. We have driven uh, almost 100 kilometers and it has consumed in total 30%. You can see there's 70% left of the battery. So basically equals more than 300. And I have driven uh, total uh, miles or kilometer, of course. And uh, yeah, we have been driven 110 kilometers an hour as predicted. And also as predicted, my girlfriend, she did not want to freeze and she even turned up the temperature to 21 and a half, even though it was in the name of science, it was not a good enough reason for her to freeze a little bit. So, and the recirculation, I actually turned that off as well. So now we're just driving like I normally do. And even though that, it has only used 10% of the energy on heating up of the cabin, which is basically nothing. And uh, yeah, it's seven degrees outside and it's uh, yeah 21 degrees in the cabin. So yeah, it's pretty comfortable. Finally, we, have, uh, we are at our destination and we have driven 146.3 kilometers. And according to the display, we have used exactly 45% of the total uh, battery uh, size so I'm actually quite surprised and it actually also means that we could go all the way back theoretically at least without even charging so I think when we go back we'll see how far we actually get and if somehow the consumption starts to for let's say we have headwind or for whatever reason uh, then we will of course stop and uh, charge but I'm going to go as far as I can without so see you in a flip so we are on our way home now and I'm starting to feel a little rain anxiety actually. Uh, 58 kilometers left, 20% charge left and so far we have driven 236 kilometers. So we are going to pull in for the next charger and uh, try to calculate what this actually means uh, range wise, how long we have driven. So, so uh, we just finished uh, charging the car and uh, well, uh, this is uh, the summary of my drive. Uh, when I parked into the charging station, there were exactly 15% of the battery left 
I have just charged it a little bit now. Uh, what we have driven, you can see here, 250 kilometers. And then by doing a little calculation, it equals to, with 100% battery use, theoretically, it's 295 kilometers. And I actually think that's quite good, uh, considering 90% uh, of this trip were freeway uh, or highway with 110 kilometers an hour, and the average temperature was 5 degrees. So there you have it, guys and girls. I